Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. There's Black Purdy. She's parked up. Unfortunately, she is going to be not on the road for a few days now because she's going to go into the workshop and have a bit of winter maintenance. The idea is to literally take all of the top of the engine out and make sure everything's all right. Take all the front suspension struts out, the rear suspension struts out, put it all back together and hopefully she'll be absolutely perfect because the roads in downtown Paphos are knocking seven bells out of her as they are every other car that's driving out. Anyway, we are heading down towards Clorica. That little white mini paceman in front of us is going to be delivered back to its rightful owner. We stole it for a couple of days and uh, did a bit of work on the rear bumper because unfortunately she had a bit of a mishap with her gate post. Anyway, you've also missed absolutely torrential rain. And when I say torrential, I mean torrential. The roads literally vanished out of sight. But luckily, we're living in downtown paradise, so it doesn't rain for very long, 20, 30 minutes, and then comes the, well, I'm not gonna say sunshine, but there's something certainly hiding behind the clouds. So, sit back and relax, kick off the flip-flops, perhaps pour yourself a can of Pepsi Max if you're named Lady Andrea, and of course, Sir Mart is practicing his karaoke, so wet your tonsils, Sir Mart, with a can of Pepsi Max. I don't know, what is this rubbish? Pepsi Cherry Max rubbish or something like that. But turn that, the sun is coming out, isn't it? And if you're wondering what we're driving, we're in a BMW X3. And to be honest, the ride is not very good. It's bouncing around on these roads. And it's not on M Sport, it's just the SE spec. Anyway, enough of the boring stuff. Look at that through a view. That's the view out across the treetops, straight across the blue, 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 blue. Mediterranean Sea. We're in the first week, well actually we're not, we're in the second week of December. Time goes, doesn't it? Before long Christmas will be a knocking on the door. Then we'll be in the new year. Bit of a damp month of January obviously. February will come and then the lights will come back on and summer will start to begin. I'd like to say thanks to all of the superstars who keep coming back to the little channel of Marika and me. We thank you from the bottom of our two hearts and we thank each and every one of you that's keeping the channel afloat by clicking through to our about page and of course hunted us down on the buy me a coffee platform google those magic words buy me a coffee marika and me up will come the landing page it'll give you a little bit of information about us and of course you will have the choice to buy us a coffee or two virtually of course on these chilly days and of course we do thank each and every one of you that has chosen to become one of our superstar members at only 10 euros a month on the buy me a coffee platform you get yourself a special title you get yourself special shout outs and of course you get yourself that little bit closer to marika and me to be honest you wouldn't think it had rained would you no, because the ambient temperature is still 18 degrees. Yeah, you heard me correctly. 18 degrees is what it is outside, according to this BMW. And it's German, so they very, very rarely lie. And I think the sun is going to come out. Well, you never know. We'll always carry an umbrella and a pair of Wellingtons just in case we come across a sheep or two. What's this? Gridlock traffic in downtown Paphos. Unbelievable. Right, I'll let you enjoy the views and all the traffic as I light up a Romeo and Juliet cigar, especially for Sir Martin, of course the girl of his life, Lady Victoria, the man who likes to do a bit of Lani Dar in Sir Bernie, and of course Lady Jan. And if you're in downtown Dublin, then your name's Lord Derek Scully, a very, very Calimera to you. Anyway, let me light it up, bear with me. Absolutely lovely. Now, this BMW X3, it's not a bad car. It's the 2014 model, I think it is. So it's the second generation, born used to tears now. But if someone wants to buy it, it's for sale. 120,000 miles, two lady owners, British from new. It's pretty clean. In fact, it's very clean. All the steering wheel's good, the seats are all good. 
It's had the odd scrape on the outside, hitting gate posts, but they've all been repaired, obviously. You can't buy a car in Cyprus that's not had some kind of bodywork, to be honest, because the driving is, well, absolutely Sherlock Holmes. There's no doubt about it. So if anyone is watching, perhaps living in downtown Pathos, and you want to buy a rather nice BMW X3, drop it in the comments, and this car will be whizzing around to you for a test drive. And like I say, it's not a bad car. It doesn't compare to a Jaguar XJ or a S-Class. It hasn't got things like electric seats. It's crazy, isn't it? No electric I've got heated seats, so that's not too bad. Let's get one of those on and warm the jumper because it's a bit chilly for Cyprus, that is. But uh, if anyone wants to buy it, drop in the comments and it can come round to you for a test drive. And you never know, you might be driving around in a rather nice metallic maroony red BMW X3. And uh, the engine, very, very smooth indeed. Anyway, enough of that. Look at that. The sun is trying to break from behind the clouds and turn the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea even more blue than it actually is. We are in what I call the Hotels Road. So this is the purpose-built road from the airport that takes you down to downtown Kedipatros in an in-road, should we say. And of course, if your name's Brian you've got a little Toyota in your life. I remember doing this video for you especially, if you remember. I think it was last year, wasn't it? Because this is the road that you come along when you're coming from the Paphos Airport. Now, if you want a bit of concrete, there's a lorry with a load of it, especially for you. He's probably got a full load of six cubic meters. How does Mr. Paul know that? That's what those lorries normally hold, six cubic meters of concrete. If you're gonna lay a concrete driveway four meters, four centimeters, sorry, four inches of depth. What's that metrically? It's about nine centimeters, isn't it? Somewhere around there. That will do 60 square meters or thereabouts. Oh my goodness. He knows a thing or two about concrete. Yes, he does. And if you want a pair of concrete Wellingtons, if your name is Lord Jeremy or the Lord Simon, I'm the man especially for you. Cyclists on the cycling lane coming up here. See that? Look at that. See? Could be Dutch people, couldn't they? Heading their way like crazy to downtown Cato Pathos. To the left hand side of us, if you take the left here, you would go down to the Yeraskipu coastal area and the Yeraskipu municipality beach. So you and me, that's known as Rickos Beach. Why is it called Rickos Beach? Because the first man to ever open a beach bar, illegally of course, was a man called Rickos. And that beach bar is still there and a very, very popular beach bar indeed. It's now been joined by one or two other beach bars, one of which is the Cabana Beach Bar. And I had the great pleasure to go and sit and have a cup of green tea. Yes, green tea with Lord Jeremy and Lord Simon last week. Yes, it was last week. Where were we yesterday? Oh, in the Mall. We were in the Cato Pappos Mall in Cafe Nero, having a hot latte and uh, looking for lighters because Lord Jeremy and Lord Simon want to buy Mr. Paul a gift and they've decided they want to buy me a rather nice lighter, not one of these one euro fifty ones. They want to spend a couple of hundred euros because well, they're doing quite well. They're doing trading on the internet. They've been doing that for a few years and uh, well, they're making a couple of bob. So they want to spend it. Simple as that. And guess what? I'll help them. No problem. Now, on this road, bit of information for you. The speed limit along here dibbles and dabbles from 30 to 50 to 65 kilometers an hour. Now, if you go too much over the 65, in other words, get to about 75 and take your foot off. Otherwise, more often than not, there is either a little camera van or Gumbaru's in blue waiting especially for you. They are quite relaxed and quite lenient. They don't care about the 50 bit and they don't care about the 30 bit. I know it doesn't make much sense, but in the 65 bit, if you're doing more than 75, they're gonna pull you over and they're gonna beat you and they're gonna create an infringement on your credit card as well. So, as I say, drive around Pathos, wherever you may be, at around 60 to 65 kilometers. In a 50, that's fine, no problem. No one's gonna do anything to you. So just drive around at 60, 65 kilometers an hour and you won't go far wrong. Don't be tempted by that nice little clean straight there to boot it, because there could be a Gumbaru in blue sitting in this little lay-by behind that fern tree waiting just for you. You see, he's not there today. No, it's a bus stop. Veronica Hotel, just over there. And then this is the main road to the left, 
that takes you down to the area known as Cave of Paphos, takes you down to the triangle area, and then right in front of that is the Olympic Lagoon Resort. Anyway, we're going straight. We're on the inner ring road, as we call it, and we are going to head out towards the Tomb of the Kings area, and then we're going towards Clorica. And we're going to take a left, and we're going to turn down towards Clorica Beach. Why are we going down there? Because that's where the lady with the mini lives. She literally lives a stone's throw away from Clorica Beach. Perhaps not the nicest place today, because we've had a bit of rain and a bit of wind, but in the spring and the summer and the autumn, it's a great place to go and have a bit of a walk and sunbathe, or perhaps walk your wife, or perhaps she can walk you and the dog. You never know. Right. Cigars are much cleverer than cigarettes, so as Mr. Paul Gamma Jubbers, that's chats away, they go out. So let me relight it and have a tonk on this Romeo and Juliet again. It's a rather nice cigar, this one, by the way. And if you're curious to know how much a cigar is in downtown Paphos, a Romeo and Juliet, depending on where you buy it, costs between six euros and ten euros. That's what it costs. If you go to the proper cigar shop, you'll buy it for about six euros. If you go to the kiosk in the harbour, it's around about eight. And then of course there's the odd one or two that will, uh, what should we say, pull your pants down and give you a bit of a scene to and charge you 10 euros. But anyway, in the UK, according to Sir Mart, Martin that is, with Lady Victoria, they are £23.50. Oh my goodness. Ouch. There we are, gridlock traffic on the inner ring road. This is the intersection to Universal, by the way. If we were to go into the right-hand lane past the Eco Petrol Station, we would be deep in downtown Universal. Yeah. Lots of people got apartments there, by the way. Oh, yeah. If your name is the Chief Superintendent of the little channel known as Marika Me, in other words, your name's Ronnie Miller. Very, very good morning to you up there in downtown Scotland. He's got an apartment in there, and he'll be coming back to Pathfall soon. And I bet he'll be in T&J's Fish and Shop Shop, having a bit of supper. I bet he will. With his wife. And you never know. He might even bring his son Stephen and his wife Jacqueline. You never know. Yeah. Looking forward to meeting you guys. Spring's not far away is it? Traffic lights are on red again. Oh my goodness. Man. Lady Andrea, what are you doing to me? Huh? What are you doing to me? I understand when you're driving down Norwich the traffic lights are always on red so you're punishing me aren't you? That's what you do. Punishing me like crazy. Ah, unbelievable. Red lumber plate in front of us. What does that mean? Well, the giveaway has got Enterprise Rent-A-Car by it, hasn't it? So next door to that now is a black Mercedes with a yellow, orangey, what would you call it? Yellowy, orangey plate, isn't it? That's a taxi. So number plates have got quite confusing in Cyprus. Now the actual number plates of going cars, front and rear, are white. That means it's a domestically owned car, shall we say. Red plates mean higher cars, but they can also mean lease cars. So lots of people who've got lots of money can lease a car tax-free through their company. So they might drive around a Porsche Cayenne or a Bentley, maybe, I might be one day, with a red plate on it. So it's probably not a higher car. But the lesser cars, like you know, Toyota Auris, which is in front of us, it's not a bad car, but that is a higher car. And then taxis have these orangey plates, okay? what they have so there we are hopefully that makes sense hopefully now luckily for me the cameras on the traffic lights are not working yet they're coming into operation in the first week of january so at the moment lady andrea i'm still allowed to go through on red lights if you pan a much that's understand in russian coming up next is the paphos mal roundabout on the left hand side is the paphos skywalk that's what's up in the wind and the rain and then just over there to the right is the Paphos Mouth. And that all lights up now because it's all Christmassy decorations going on. And if you come back in a few days, me and my beautiful blonde wife, Miss Archie Priscilla Booth, are going to go make a Christmas lights edition. Yes, we're going to go from place to place and show you some of the beauty and some of the spectacality that's going on in downtown Paphos as Christmas approaches us. The rains are coming back, there we are, on come the automatic wipers. Now they're getting a bit excited. They're over excited now, you see? They don't know. One drop of rain and they start, let's knock them off because they are annoying. There we are. Tomb of the Kings Avenue, that's where we are now. Who likes Tomb of the Kings Avenue? Let me think. 
We're coming past the Thomas Jungle Karaoke Bar. Right now on the left, Santa Claus is there waiting for us. So if your name is Baron John, and there's a girl in your life, Baroness Louise, who likes a little bit of cheese and a bottle of wine or two, well, March is not long, and you'll soon be dancing and prancing in the downtown Kid of Pathos Promenade and Harbour area, and have no doubt flexing your tonsils in the Thomas Jungle Pub. Or, a little bit further on, after we popped into KFC, we could go to Alfie T's. That's where we went last time, wasn't it? And there's McDonald's, especially for Andrea, when Mr. Mart is dragging her out towards the Tomb of the Kings area he likes to go and see all the mosaics, he's into history and those kind of things. Oh, and karaoke, yes, indeed. Tomb of the Kings Avenue, not on the greatest of days, but there's still people walking around in shorts and t-shirts, so there we'll see our tourists of some type, should we say. There's a gentleman there who's quite happy in his shorts, all dressed in black. Should be in blue, mate, should be in blue. Farmhouse Restaurant, that's on the left-hand side. You've got the O'Neill's Irish Pub over there. And what else have we got? We've got Vangelis Optical House if you want to get your eyes tested. And then just over yonder is KFC, I think. I think it's KFC. Let me light the cigar again. We're stuck in traffic, so I've got to get a bit of a tonk on a cigar. Especially for you. Now, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to come back for a little bit more of my complete and utter madness. I'm going to say thanks for watching. Don't forget, I'll be on again in the morning, especially for you.